It's been an ongoing debate in the country. Arguments on the limits of the powers of a National Assembly over the nation's budget or the extent to which the federal legislature can amend the budget. This dispute was recently amplified during the signing of the 2022 budget by President Buhari, where he expressed displeasure over the changes to the original budget proposal in the form of outright removals, reductions and increases in the amounts allocated to projects, as well as introduction of 6,576 new projects into the budget. What we're discussing is a question of some fundamental issues and challenges that need to be resolved at a certain level. So for me, I do not believe that the legislature has no business tinkering with the budget, introducing a few things, just a few things. I also do not believe that they should go ahead and write a new budget altogether, okay? Like almost what they're doing, trying to bring 5,700 and something. President Buhari had forwarded a 16.39 trillion Naira 2022 budget proposal to the National Assembly, who subsequently increased it to 17.1 trillion Naira. The National Assembly increased the nation's budget several times under the Buhari administration and in previous administrations. Some of the budget adjustments were to fund infrastructural projects, accommodate needs of some government agencies, and increase the budget of the National Assembly itself. Dr. Sam Amadi is the Director for Public Policy and Research. He says the Constitution does not provide clarity on the extent to which the National Assembly should tinker with the budget proposal. The National Assembly themselves in the election year want to see more optics of projects they have delivered. Uh, the, especially in this context where the, the presidency is not running again. So the executive has much more commitment to prudence, to deliver on economic legacy projects. The National Assembly may be much more motivated to deliver on short-term, electorally valuable projects. There are also concerns about the nature of some of the projects which the National Assembly inserts into national budgets. We see a lot of projects that are done up hazardly. And we have seen instances where in the budgetary provision, six blocks of classroom is meant to be to be constructed, but when contractor come to site, four blocks of classroom is being constructed. Keen observers of parliament want this critical arm of government and executive to address the matter of constituency or zonal intervention projects in a less chaotic way. There should be a lot of handshake before budget. So, you know, oftentimes we've talked about uh, interactions between the executive and the legislature, uh, the build up to the budget. But it looks like it's not as robust as it ought to be. So, th that kind of interaction means that before the budget is brought to the National Assembly, there are general consensus around what projects that the National Assembly may want to add. The nation is grappling with a huge deficit in the 2022 budget, revenue shortages, and the recent request by the country's national oil company for the sum of 3 trillion naira to fund petroleum subsidy in 2022. Analysts want robust interactions between the executive and the legislature to find solutions to these problems and build consensus before the next budget is presented to the National Assembly. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News.